What's up guys, this is TBZ. And this is Crispy here at the Gaming Lair with the build we're Woo! bringing you guys. Yeah, this is um, essentially just a PC which is cost effective and gives you the best possible performance for a cheaper price. Yeah, definitely. Bang for your buck right here. Uh, it's going to be a four, you know, four series. Um, there's going to be four videos we're putting up. One that, no, part one you're watching now is going to be, you know, the, the parts and the costs of each part involved, why we got them, things like that. Number two, uh, you can either just skip straight ahead to it and watch the series, but that's going to be actually building this thing up. Uh, what's part three going to be, TBZ? Part three will be setting up the liquid cooling we've got there, which you can see, which is the H60 Corsair liquid cooling system um, nice. for the CPU. Uh, and then stage four will be like benchmarking and comparisons to previous PC builds and that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. So we're just going to jump right into it. Yeah, guys. So let's do it. All right, guys. This is TBZ, and this is um, moving on from the introduction. So... We have Crispy here, yeah. who's going to be talking about parts and why we got them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just to let you guys know that this uh, series will be full HD, uh, you know, ETR standard. Um, you'll see that on all of our videos, but yeah, we just want to make a nice, clear, crisp picture. Uh, no pun intended. Anyway, we'll jump right into it. Here's the uh, Asus ROC Extreme 3 Gen 3. Um, quite a low end board, but super high performance. Um, the reasons why we got it. PLE, PCI 3, um, all graphics cards that are coming out now, this is the uh, basically the standard, the highest standard you can go with, PCI 3. Um, the graphics card we actually got is only, only utilizes, utilizes 2.1, but um, yeah, it's just a motherboard that you buy, it, which can support all these parts and up. It's got, you don't want to be spending, you know, you know, $150 on a motherboard, which can't have any room to improve in the next coming years. This bad boy can take up to the i7, um, not the 2011 socket ones, the uh, uh, double 1155. Um, but, so it's got room to improve, uh, which is what you are looking for in a PC. You don't want to just ha each year have to buy you know, new motherboard, new parts. You just want motherboards one that you just want to um, commit to and you know get a good quality one. I'll go through the more specific things later, but I'm sure that you guys have done your research and can check it out. Um, standard stuff, you know, I/O um, cables. Uh, yeah, I think there's drivers in here. Yeah, you got your drivers. Yeah, pretty standard. I'll just check it up here. Give you a quick look at the motherboard. Um, it's behind the static casing, but yeah, it's quite nice. It always has that shiny look to it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Anyway, we'll check on because, I mean, you guys, there's heaps of unboxings out there. We're not going to claim that we're the only ones doing these parts. Uh, everyone's doing them. We're just bringing you a high def of a whole system. Um, yeah. Not many people offer that, so. All right, guys. Yeah. And we'll move on. What do we got here, Crispy? So, the i5. 250,000. No, no. 2,500K. 2,500K. I'm struggling. I always say 250K, but then uh, <laughs> that's, that's nothing. Anyway, this bad boy is for overclocking. Um, it's about $30 more than your typical i5 without the K. The K is just the unlocked, so it's an unlocked core. Uh, I won't open it up because um, they all look pretty similar, and you can definitely just search like Google Images, that stuff. This is what you want. This will take you anywhere up to f 4 gigahertz really comfortably. Um, nice little CPU, good price. Right now they're actually dropping significantly because, you know, the i7's come down and also the new 2011 sockets are just released. I mean, they're like $1,600, but seriously, this thing take you all the way through to 2013 easy, you know, run everything smoothly, all the current games. Um, you won't need to look any further. We can run through overclocking this and we'll also run through setting it up and um, it's, I really highly recommend it. Uh, I wouldn't suggest getting anything other than the K series unless you're basically no idea how to do overclocking and really not looking to do it. But that's the, um, the CPU. We'll move on here. We just got 8 gigs of RAM. Now, it's at 1600 uh, megahertz. Most people go, oh, why don't you go with like 2100 or maybe why don't you, got, why don't you have 16 gig RAM? Well, the motherboard we got supports up to 32 gigabytes. Yeah, that's right, 32. Uh, come back to me when you are running 32 gigabytes and you're having RAM issues. Like, you're never going to get there, okay? So, this Rip Jaw one, um, really good quality, 8 gigs. Uh, it's going to utilize all of it. It's not going to have any issues with trying to sync. A lot of um, motherboards, sometimes if you get high, high-end RAM that runs at 2100, um, it doesn't sync at 2100. So you're pretty much paying for something that you're not getting the full use of. 1600, it's really safe. Also gives you a bit of overclocking, uh, help out with the CPU. So, yep, uh, that's all you need. Eight gigs for now, and you've got the you've got the chance to move up. You know, chuck another eight in there. Uh, it's got four slots, so you can go up to 16, or if you get eight single eight gigs, uh, you go 32. 
Moving down here, hard drive, SSD. SSD is pretty much like the, the future of like hard drives. Um, these things getting ridiculously cheap, not too much right now. In um, I think it was Taiwan, they had a big flood and that's pretty much where they're all produced. So yeah, they got a bit expensive um, over the last few months, but they're dropping back down. SSDs, this is what you're actually looking for. Really quick read write um, speeds. You definitely want to chuck your OS on there, so uh, your operating system, Windows 7, whatever you got, um, and it will boot your computer up instantly. Really handy. Now your OS will take about 30 gigabytes, um, so you got an extra 30 to play with. That 30 is perfect for games. Uh, we'll actually cover that in um, our later video. We're going to test it out with Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, just basically SSDs really help with those games that uh, have to load areas. So it's not going to help with Counter-Strike because the, lo the map loads um, on startup, but games like uh, WoW and Star Wars The Old Republic will just really help with loading those new areas. Um, but that's pretty much it. We'll show you up how to partition them and uh, set it up. But okay. yeah, moving down. Moving down to the graphics card. Key component, Crispy. Definitely. Um, obviously, one of the uh, turning points in a system, make or break. Um, this one. Nice little budget. Um, it's a good budget build, 6770. Um, I can, we'll show you more in depth about it, but it's got a lot of features. Um, you can read down here. As I mentioned before, it's PCI 2.1. The motherboard goes up to 3.0. So um, 3.0 is just like a really high end. If you bought like a 7790, I think they are right now, they're like $800. Still chuck it on this motherboard, uh, it can support it. But yeah, it supports all the key features like um, DirectX, you can just go down here, TBZ, yeah. Uh, DirectX 11, um, it's got one gigabyte, uh, you know, GDDR5, so the highest end. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you guys can do a lot of reading about. Uh, people definitely say that this is a good, uh, good little CPU, run all the games that are currently out. Uh, nice high frame rate and uh, graphic setting for you there. Also gives you the opportunity if you want to go um, Crossfire or SLI, um, motherboard supports it and also these cards. You just need to make sure that the first di two digits are the same so you can get like a, yeah, any of the 67, 67 series. Um, or 69 or 6. Uh, no, you can go 69 with this because it has to be the first two, but that's alright. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll move down to power supply. 80 plus gold. Um, obviously you want a quality one. Power supply is one of those things that the extra $30 can just save you so much hassle. I mean, um, XFX, good brand, quality manufacturer, you know you're getting something that's going to last. Um, you don't want these like crazy brands that you've never heard of and they're like, oh this is 50 bucks cheaper and it's more watts. Nah, you're not getting what you pay for. It's just quality. It'll probably clog up after, you know, half a year or so. Uh, make sure it's 80 plus. Um, the other thing to look out for is modular. These days, um, basically the two differences is modular, you plug all your equipment into it um, and the ones that aren't modular is the power supply has all the cables coming out of it. Um, and so sometimes you can have excess cables, um, so modular just keeps that cable management uh, nice and simple and yeah, it looks really neat. Uh, should we jump over here? Yeah, we're jumping over. We'll I think I'll take this one crispy because this is the cooling system. Um, we won't talk about much of it at this point because like we said there will be th uh, four stages in this video and um, the third stage will be purely about the liquid cooling system, how to install it, why we picked it and um, everything to do with that. Um, and what we have left um, uh, after the cooling system we have the <laughs> just my um, network adapter which you know the drill it's just a simple piece of hardware and my optical drive which I just decided to get which is some things you can cut back and cost if you already have a previous PC and you can just um, put your network adapter or your optical drive already in there um, and use it for your new PC so finally we have choice of case um, Crispy do you want to take this one? Yeah uh, so I just, we went with a Storm Forcer uh, basically it's your ATX standard, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a full size motherboard. You can have um, ATX extended but they're super high end, uh, if you're getting those then you know what you're talking about, you know everything that you need. Basically this uh, case, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the side but it's got a glass, oh sorry, a ceramic um, panel uh, so you can see in, you know, show off all your components, see your mates, um, it'll look really good. It's also got a red LED at the front fan, um, really nice good display there. 
Uh, three massive fans. Um, I think they get up to 200 millimeter um, red LED. I don't know if you can pick it out on the side there. Hey, we're going to be bringing you this um, anyway. You'll be able to see it up and close. And, yeah, uh, guys. Yeah, no yep. problems. So that is um, the computer's build. That's all the parts. So that is stage one gone, and we have three more stages to come. So um, yeah. next up, we'll be having of the stage build. two. We'll be going straight into it. Um, yep. If you're all worried about prices, uh, we'll be listening in the description below. We're also, at the end, we'll do a little coverage of where we went and bought them, um, depending on which area you are. Obviously, we're in Australia, so if you're watching this from the eastern states, you'll know, you'll be like, oh, you know, those bloody Australians yeah. paying high prices for components. Um, but I'll show you, you know, where you get a good deal, uh, where we got a good deal. So, um, you can check out all those prices in the description um, below. Yep, we'll have it all there for you guys. Otherwise, this is TBZ. This is Crispy. See and, uh... See you in part two. See you in stage two, guys.